Hello and welcome back to Gapy's Grow Room. Today we're going to do a little fig update. This is a one month update since I started the fig cuttings that I got in the mail. But I also have some fig cuttings that I started about a month earlier here on the left. These are the Desert King and Laterula cuttings that I got um, locally. So they are one month ahead. But I'm having a little bit of issue with mainly the Laterula cuttings. They were all doing really well. Um, just like this one here, they had lots of leaves and getting long stems, but then this happened. The leaves started drooping and now they're just kind of shriveling up and drying out. So I'm not sure what happened. A lot of people thought maybe it was lack of water, but I don't think that was the cause. I'm not really sure, but I decided to repot two of the fig cuttings into these larger containers because I thought maybe it was a problem with the potting mix. Um, but this one here that's in this container looked just like this one there, but I decided to cut the top off of it um, just to see if some more growth might come out down these other nodes. There's like three, maybe three nodes still on that stem that might still root or might still have leaves come out. So I'll we'll have to wait and see what happens, but I do have one laterula cutting that is still looking pretty good. It's not getting limp yet. It's still pretty, pretty firm, but I've got a couple more. It's not just the ones that were in the fig pots, um, these plastic bags here. Let me show you the, the roots here. So there's some of the roots that are, that are coming out on there. And there's actually not as many roots as I would have expected for this age of cutting. So I'm not sure what's going on. Um, but I also have the same problem with the ones that were in these four inch containers. So it's not just the ones in the plastic bags. So this one just started, um, getting droopy as well and not looking very good. So all of those are the laterula cuttings. I have, I think one more, one more laterula cutting right here. And it looks like it's just starting to droop. This leaf here is droopy. So I'm not sure what to do about those. I have been watering it pretty well um, in case it was getting too dry. And I've also been giving it a little bit of fertilizer as well. Um, so we'll have to see what happens. But I haven't had any problems so far on the Desert Kings. So these ones here in the front are the Desert Kings, but they don't have as much leaf growth. So this one here is the only one that has some leaf growth and it's still looking pretty good. So we'll have to wait and see what happens there. But those are all the, but they're about two months old right now. But the ones on the right are looking really good. These are the ones that I started one month ago and I've got some of them in these bags here as, and I've got some of them in these clear cups. And I really like these clear cups because you can see the roots really well. Look at all those roots. It's looking really great. So this is the Tacoma Violet. And I've got two Tacoma Violets. This one doesn't have any leaf growth yet, but this one here is just starting to put out some leaves. And the roots on all these are looking really nice. And then right behind that, we've got the Dalmatia. And the Dalmatia also has some really good root growth. And then we've got Negroni. So I've got one Negroni in one of these cups here. Nice roots. And I've also got a Negroni in one of these bags. So you can see the roots there in the bag. And then behind that, let's see, we've got, this is the Ben's Golden Riverside. This is a really popular variety. And it's really hard to get actually. Um, but those are nice looking roots there. There's no, actually there's a little bit of leaf growth that's coming out the top there. See that? So that should be coming out soon. And then we also have this one here is the long, long de out, but it's got some leaf growth that's actually coming out from under the potting mix. So there is one node on top of the or outside of the potting mix, but there's nothing growing out the top yet. And let's see, here's another one with some really nice roots. 
And this one is the Dauphine. I really like the roots on this one. And we've got a little bit of green growth coming out the top there. Looking good. And then we've got a bunch in, well actually five of them in these square containers. So these ones you cannot see the roots. So I have no idea if there's roots on any of these or not. Um, ideally you want to see some roots before you put them under the lights, but some of them were starting to get some green growth. And just because you see leaves coming out the cutting doesn't necessarily mean there's going to be roots. But I decided to get these under the lights anyway. Um, so that one there is the Smith. And I think I have a Smith in a plastic bag as well, somewhere. Uh, let's see. Yeah, here's the Smith that's in the plastic bag. You can see a little bit of roots in there and some green growth starting to come out the top there. And then we've also got a couple of Nero 600 M's that are leafing out pretty well. And they're both in the square containers here that you can't see through. And then the one that's actually rooted the fastest and is growing the most is the Ron de Bordeaux. So I actually have three, I think three cuttings of those. So I've got two in these square pots and then I've also got one here in one of the plastic bags. So let's take a look at the roots on that one. You can see some pretty good looking roots there. So I'm pretty happy. I'm actually, there's nine varieties here that rooted out of the 10 varieties I got in the mail and they were stuck in the mail for a good couple of weeks. So I was really impressed at how well these have done. So let's go take a look at what I have still rooting. So under this cover here, we've got a black tote that I've got some more cuttings in. So these are the ones that have no visible roots and haven't leafed out yet. They're, a lot of them are in these four inch pots. So I can't tell, they might have roots, but I really don't know. But since they don't have any leaves coming out, I decided to go ahead and just keep them in the dark. And if they start getting some, some leaves, then I'll, I'll move them over to the light. But there is, I think this one here, this one is the Mora de Caneva. I think actually this is the only one that I hadn't rooted yet, but you can see there is a little bit of, of swelling in that node at the top. So that does give me hope that it's still alive and maybe there are some roots in there somewhere. So once that gets a little bit bigger, I'll move it under the lights and we'll see what happens. Um, and then I also have some more cuttings that I actually won um, from IV Organic. So that's the ones that are in these clear cups here. And I just started these about a week or so ago. So none of these have rooted yet, but the ones that I got are the Strawberry Verte. I got a couple of those cuttings here. And then I've also got, let's see, that's another Strawberry Verte. And then this one here is the Tiger Panache, Panache, I think it's called. But this one is, I'm really excited for this one. This is a striped fig. So it's got green and yellow stripes. So it's a really, really pretty fig. And then these big fat cuttings here, um, these are super fat, but they're really short. I think there's like maybe one or two nodes on this cutting. So I cut it into three pieces because the nodes were really close together. This one is called Marseille Black or Black Marseille, I think. Um, but that is, I think it's a really popular fig as well that a lot of people um, want. So that's what I won on, on YouTube. And then I've also got a couple of cuttings here that I'm testing out with a different kind of potting mix. So this is just a mix of perlite and vermiculite. And these ones are only a couple weeks old. So I'm not sure if that will work or not, but that's, I think this is one that IV Organic, um, that's the potting mix that he uses for reading cuttings. So I just wanted to give it a try um, and we'll see what happens with those and see if that works. So that is all the update for the cuttings. I've also got a couple peppers and stuff in here that I'm just germinating. Um, but yep, that's all we have here. Um, and actually I also wanted to show you how I water the fig pops over here because it's done a little bit differently and I'm not sure. I think most people do it this way. I'm not really sure, but this is how I'm doing it. So I've got this little plastic, it was, I think it was a lettuce container. 
but I like to use this for, for watering. And what I do is I pour a little bit of water in here and I also added a little bit of liquid fertilizer. And I'm using Dr. Earth's all-purpose fertilizer. And then I've got this syringe. So I'm just gonna put some of this solution into the syringe. And this is what I do for these fig pops because it's kind of hard to get the water into these. So all I do is find a hole because I poked a bunch of holes in here and just find one of those holes and stick the syringe in there and then just shoot the water in there. And that's all you do. But I just kind of feel by weight to know whether it needs water or not. So this one is actually, I just watered most of these yesterday. So they have, um, I think they're pretty well hydrated right now, but I'll just put a couple, couple syringes in there. So I think this one is good. And this one is the Desert King. So I'm just gonna feel some of these other ones. This one feels a little light. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple of these in here. So there's our hole, and then I'm just going to shoot these. I just kind of, I don't shoot it all in one lo in one area. I just kind of move it around so that it gets distributed evenly. And then I'll just do some on the other side as well. And I usually just do it on the surface and then let it soak in a little bit. So I just put in a couple of those and that should be fine. And let's just do one more here. Let's see if we can find our hole. There's our hole. Sometimes it's hard to see the holes. All right. And that's how I water my fig pops. And all these other containers, I usually just bottom water it. So I do have some holes on the bottom of the, the container here, and I will just set it in there like that, and I'll just let it soak up the water from below, and that way the, the top stays nice and dry. Um, you can see how dry the top is there, so you don't want the top to get too wet because that will attract fungus gnats. And then I keep those cups in, in here just to protect the roots from the light some people say that it doesn't matter if the roots see light, but I think it's better that they stay in the dark. And that's all we have. Thanks for watching, and I will give another fig update here in another month or two. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.